Fifth Grade Wall Ball Project Part 2. Yay, we got the money. Mr. Hitz and the Kathy Feist Foundation. Mr. Hitz came to our classroom and we showed him our video of what we had done on our project so far. He said we would, he would give us the money through the Kathy Feist Foundation. He also talked to us about the many foundations that had funds available to use toward projects in the community. He explained the process of how foundations got their money. Then we got to go on a field trip. We went to Mead Lumber. The manager of Mead Lumber gave us a tour of the store in the yard. We learned about all the building supplies you could purchase at the store. In the yard, he showed us all the different kinds of lumber and other building supplies you could purchase. Next on our field trip, we got to go to Sherwin-Williams. <clears throat> we went to Sherwin-Williams to talk about the paint and primers we needed in order to paint our wall. The assistant manager, Renee, gave us a tour of the store and showed us how they mix paints. Then it was time for the work to begin. Measuring the post holes, Mr. Reinerson came over and showed us how to set our wall ball square with the gym so it would look good on the playground. We measured the distance between our posts and made sure they were square with each other. Then we were ready to dig our post holes. Digging the post holes. It was a lot of work, but we got it done. Mr. Reinerson came over with the hammer drill with a chisel on the end to get through the asphalt. Then we used a gas-powered digger and a handheld post hole digger to clear the dirt out of the holes. Finally, the holes were dug and we were ready to set the post in cement. Working and learning in the shop. The next step was to go to the wood shop. In the wood shop, Mr. Reinerson helped us build a support system to brace the post. We got to help screw and watch him cut our supports. We got to use tables, saws, and drills. We had to wear safety glasses to protect our eyes from the debris. It was really fun to help Mr. Reinerson with our project in the shop classroom. Setting the post. On Wednesday the 2nd of May, we got to put the post in, but first we had to mix the cement. It was so much fun. After that, we had to make sure we had the post equal in the ground. Then we poured the cement in and smoothed it out. Last, we had to put the bracing on each side so it would help keep it from tilting since the cement was wet. We were all finished with this step. We were ready for the next step, which was framing the wall. Here are some pictures of us putting up the bracing. Here is a picture of us mixing cement. Framing the wall. We all pitched in on framing, and I can tell you it was fun. We marked the spots on the plywood where we were going to put the screws. Then we got to use the drill to put in all the screws. These are some pictures of us building the frame and putting the plywood on. Standing the wall up. After lunch, we went outside and watched the high school students stand the wall up. It was a big process. We had to hammer blocks under the wall to make it level, otherwise the wall would be going downhill, and we didn't want that. Saturday work would day. We were running short on time and didn't think we'd be able to finish the wall ball wall before the end of the school year. As a result, Mrs. Stegman printed out permission forms to see if we could work on Saturday. Seven students and three supervisors attended the workday. The students stayed from 8.30 to 2. The supervisor stayed until 4. On that day, we finished most of the construction of the wall. Sunday, Mr. and Mrs. Stegman worked a few more hours, and then it was time to paint. After the work days, we were ready to paint the wall. Monday, we went out in the morning to put a coat of primer sealer. That afternoon, we put on a coat of primer and a gray background color. Then we were ready to begin working on the Lancer logo. Tracing the Lancer logo. Mrs. Hendrickson and four of her art students came at 9 o'clock one evening to trace the logo. They used two overhead projectors and the high school students traced the logo on both sides of the wall. They finished in about one hour. Painting the logo. After Mrs. Hendrickson's class came and traced the logo, we primed the logo and painted it. It took a very long time, but it was worth it. We are very proud of the work done by everyone who helped us and the way that it turned out. Here are some pictures that were taken with only the primer. Here is Mr. Stegman putting on the finishing touches. Handprints. We wanted some way to show we had worked on the project, so we chose to put our handprints on the sidewall trim. Mrs. Stegman painted our hands, and then we placed our print painted hands on the wall. Then we had to wash up. Finished product. This is the picture of the finished logo with our handprints on the sidewall trim. 
Now everyone will know whose idea came to life through a lot of hard work and fun. Ribbon cutting. We were all excited for this part, and the whole school was too. Everyone gathered around us. We were about to cut the ribbon. You could see they were all excited to finally play wall ball on the playground. Once we cut the ribbon, everyone started clapping. We each got to keep a part of the ribbon to remember this day. We had finally finished our wall ball wall. It was a lot of work, but it was done. The wall ball wall was officially open. Playing wall ball. We are very excited that we have a wall ball wall to play on. We all think it is a fun game. We enjoy playing the game during PE and recess. Everyone in our class is happy to share the fun game with anyone who wants to play. These are pictures of us playing. Thank you. The fifth grade class and Mrs. Stegman would like to thank the following people. Without their help, we would never have been able to complete our project. Mr. Reinerson for his professional help throughout the project and teaching us about the tools we needed to use. Mr. Reinerson and his shop classes for helping to construct the wall. Mr. Corby for his encouragement, time, and hard work. Mr. Stegman for his time and hard work. Mrs. Hendrickson and her art students for tracing the logo and painting. Mrs. Lori Stein and her trigonometry class for helping with calculations. Mrs. Myers and Mrs. Roan for helping to edit our book. Mrs. Rhodes for taking pictures and all her other help. Mr. Fries for having the third, fourth, and fifth graders play wall ball in P.E. Miss Thompson for being flexible when Mrs. Stegman could not do recess duty or walk to band because of the work on the wall ball. Miss Thompson for being flexible when we were working and needed to change music times. The third, fourth, and fifth grade students for taking our survey. Jesse for making the survey available to the students. The high school students that helped stand up the wall. Ron Stein for helping with the cable so we could unload our wood and the cardboard for painting. Brad Schaefer at Mead Lumber for the tour, helping with the bid and lumber purchase. Dorinda at Sherwin-Williams for donating the paint and supplies and visiting our classroom. Renee at Sherwin-Williams for the tour of the store. The Spearville News and Greg Beertaller for the forklift to unload the lumber. The Kathy Feist Foundation for financing our project. Mike Kitts for visiting with us about foundations and how they work. Mayor Kevin Heckey for telling us about building codes. Mrs. Corby for picking up paint for us. And the kind men at Home Depot and Menards that helped us with our bids. Here are two pictures. One is of the elementary students and staff that participated and helped us to get the wall wall project complete. The bottom picture is of all the kids at the junior high and high school and teachers that helped with the wall ball project. Here is a picture of Mrs. Stegman's fifth grade class, 2017-2018. Mrs. Stegman says she would personally like to thank each of these students. This was a long, hard process. We took owner, they took ownership from the very beginning and pulled their weight throughout the process. They were helpful and without them the project would not have come to completion. You did an awesome job, and I appreciate each and every one of you with gratitude, Mrs. Stegman.